Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nick Flow Show. I'm your host, Nick Flow, and today I'm stupid excited to be bringing you news about lockbox changes. Prepare for everything you know about lockboxes to change. Say goodbye to the packs within the packs. I'll tell you what I'm talking about, and it starts right now. All right, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, say goodbye to what lockboxes used to be and get ready to welcome how Neverwinter does lockboxes moving into 2019. Holy crap, you guys, this is absolutely amazing. Starting in module 15, lockboxes will no longer feature reward boxes, but drop all rewards directly. Each box will contain one reward from each of the following groups. Ladies and gentlemen, what that means is that there are no more packs within the packs. Now when you use your key on the lockbox, you will immediately receive rewards. So there's no more stronghold pack, there's no more mount pack, there's no more enchantment pack, there's no more artifact equipment pack, there's none of that, gone gone the days of old and the days of new have arisen how are they going to be broken up they're going to be broken up into three tiers we have the main rewards tier your legendary and your epic drops but also some filler stuff because obviously it can't just be um, epic and legendary stuff so we'll get into that in a little bit we have our refinement rewards compiled here is everything that's used to drop from various enchantment artifact or companion crates and then our third tier is what's called our utility rewards we're talking about the stronghold vouchers we're talking about the profession stuff and other things of that nature now let's go ahead and check it out. Um, I'm going to show you a few images here of some of the goodies. We have the Adolescent Deep Crow. Um, a mount coming in with an Enlightened Insignia, Crescent Insignia, and a Universal Slot. 2,000 Armor Pen, so not bad. Um, with Barovia, you're needing that 100% cap. Um, this is going to be no different. And I do believe the new Bank Heist... Skirmish should also require a hundred percent. I'm not 100 percent on that, but we'll see um, So there's that uh, we also have the legendary adolescent deep crow now this guy's gonna come with a combat power that uh, Releases a shriek uh, last 10 seconds. You're gonna get 7.5 percent power um, And you can see the rest here. I mean check it out 4,000 armor pen once again, they're going very armor pen heavy helping those people that can't you know having uh, Some stat management issues or however 4,000 armor pen is extremely useful um, Also useful in PvP so look out for that the legendary Adolescent deep crow and then another item here is the deep crow hatchling. This is absolutely huge for you power share classes, you OPs and you DCs, because the active bonus is 1500% power. Oh my god, 1500% power, excuse me. 1500 power. Um, so, you know, it's got three offensive slots, neck, ring, ring, so really good. I'm not really sure about the powers. I'll definitely have to look into the powers themselves, but the base. Uh, stats on it is power and crit coming in at 19 each so it's going to give you a equal base of power and crit as you level this up to legendary and then obviously that 1500 power does incorporate itself into the into your base damage uh, into your base power which allows you to share that obviously um, but let's check out the main rewards now the main rewards uh, because you're gonna get one of each of the following don't forget you're gonna get something out of the main rewards you're gonna get something out of the refinement rewards and you're gonna get something out of the utility rewards main rewards we got our legendary deep crow mount a deep crow mount epic version probably the baby deep crow companion um demogorgon's girdle of might coming in the epic and rare rarity um there's also going to be some kind of epic insignia pack it looks like um possibly uh 
companion upgrade token pack. There's also going to be something new, uh, artifact reroll token pack. Um, we know with mod 15, there is a lot of uh, hype around the rerolls. Um, you're going to be able to reroll chests, I think, four to five times or something. It's going to be amazing. Um, you're going to be able to get, you know, hopefully the loot you need. Hopefully the loot you deserve. You're running something over and over to try to get something. Hopefully this will help us. Um, Bonding Runestone rank 8. Uh, there's some Jadeites and Tarmaloon uh, Trade Bar Jackpot. Now some of these things are, you know, uh, could change just because obviously these things are coming from the preview. And, uh, you know, obviously they're subject to change until tomorrow. Uh, November 6th is when PC gets it. So um, let's move on to the what's called the Refinement Rewards. Now this got some pretty good stuff. We got our Ultimate Enchanting Stones, our Brilliant Diamonds. Um, so what's happening is... Uh, the Vorpal and the Soul Forge are coming out in this box, but there's actually two lock boxes coming out in Mod 15. We're gonna get into that second lock box here in a moment, but this lock box, as far as enchantments, um, is gonna feature the Soul Forge enchantment for the armor, the Vorpal enchantment for the weapon enchantment. You're gonna be rocking the ultimate marks of potency, superior marks of potency, and enchanting stones. We're gonna have preservation wards and all your refinement, Alexandrite, blood rubies. Uh, there's gonna be a greater enchanting in RP pack, possibly or something like that. Um, greater marks of potency, rank eight enchantments. Obviously kind of all of those packs into one sort of. So, I mean, it's going to be very interesting opening these guys up. Um, so, let's move on to our utility rewards. Um, first one here on the list, uh, I know probably open your eyes, uh, lock, Lockbox Legendary Tool. Um, now, just the way as it shows here in the text, and this is coming to you straight from Neverwinter Uncensored. There's always a link in my channel for their website. Uh, Joshi over there at Neverwinter Uncensored does an amazing job. This guy is the Neverwinter Guru Sensei Master. Okay, uh, make sure you check out that uh, link for all of your Neverwinter needs. But back to it, uh, the legendary tools they are getting in what I see a nerf in mod 15 so for those of you that are you know trying to uh you know use your tools moving in i'd say sell those bad boys now because they don't seem to hold as much in mod 15 because the crafts only allow one tool etc etc we're getting off track anyways they're gonna give epic supplements in this utility reward um supplements are for crafting so kind of relevant to what we were just talking about it's also gonna give you okay so rare supplement uncommon supplement stronghold vouchers etc etc and a little bit more refinement in these utility rewards so man huge huge changes um now let's talk about what's called uh what is it the Oh my god, I completely don't even see the name. I think it's the Acquired Treasure Lockbox. Anyways, our second lockbox, it's absolutely insane. It may be featuring mount skins. That's right. You might be able to change that Tensor's disc that you've been having for the last four or five years. Okay? And check this picture out. Boom! There he is. Right in that bad boy. You can see the griffin in the back. I'm not sure what else that other mount is back there, to be honest. Um, but, man, that tensor's disc with that fire or that gold. Like, dude, that that looks sick. To be able to put a mount skin, if that's true, man, bravo, never winner, because that's going to be dope, man. So, um, this one, the acquired treasure lockbox, is going to be the same. Um... It's going to be the same except for the uh, refinement rewards. Um, I'll just highlight these real quick. Um, refinement rewards, uh, you're going to have a moderate fate touch and moderate negation. So there goes your weapon and armor enchantment. Um, but real quick, the main rewards, um, this is going to be the new glorious pack. So actually, I'm not sure if they're going to release glorious moving forward or if this is just gonna take its place but from what you know sources show us you know here it is um lockbox acquired treasure legendary mount pack you know that's gonna take its place of the glorious resurgence legendary pack the epic pack 
the Epic Companion Pack. Um, and it does look like what they did with the new Glorious Lockbox is that they took out the artifacts. And I have to agree because guess what? Artifacts are pretty easy to come by. I mean, unless you're going after like the Eye of the Giant or the Key of Fragmented Stars from MSPC or things of that nature, I mean, artifacts are easy to come by. Therefore, not really making them epic. You know, so I'm kind of happy they took that out of the epic rewards because how many times have you gotten an artifact uh, resurgence pack and, you know, just kind of been like, okay, you know, I mean, I'd rather get like a chult, of, you know, a, a, a chult, a leopard, a chult or something like that, you know, because it's worth more. So they're taking out the artifacts pack. Um, so yeah, um, some new icons in the game files, by the way, I suggest that the new legendary pack is definitely gonna have the legendary skin. So uh, we'll definitely see um, if it's for just legendary mounts, if it's for rare and epic mounts, um, how that works. But you know, it's hard to tell if this is gonna be much better for us as players, whether we're gonna like it, whether we're gonna hate it, I'm unsure, but man, if you can't tell, I'm hella excited for these changes. Mod 15, I mean, it just continues to impress. I know there isn't dungeons, which for, you know, for me and myself, it does suck, you know, because I'm kind of tired of running CN. But, hey, we're getting, we're getting the Gallant Dungeons Hardcore Mode. So that's something to be super, super excited about. That We're going to leave uh, going in depth into that subject for another video another time but you know let me know what you guys think about these changes are you excited to not have packs or did you like getting the packs because then you knew what to do with it you wanted to hold it until this date you want to hold it for refinement like what do you think are you happy with how you're gonna get rewards out of the new lockbox um, I'm, I, I'm still up in arms because I have no idea. I mean, I have no idea how to feel about it. I know I'm excited because it's something new. New things excitement. Uh, bleh, new things excite me. And Neverwinter is definitely doing that. Um, I can't think of the last time I've been more hyped for a module in my life. Which is two years because I'm on PlayStation 4. So... But yeah, man, uh, there it is, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that sub button. Hit that like button for your boy if you enjoy Neverwinter guides, how-tos, and giveaways. I cover that and so much other Neverwinter-related content. So until next time, you guys, I really appreciate you. Leave any of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below, and we'll catch you guys on the next Nick Flow Show. Peace out.